Hi everybody, my name is Krista. I'm joining you today with the move of the week. We're going to be doing headstand today. Um, just a great starting point for all the inversions that we do in class. So for headstand, I find the easiest way to go into headstand is to start in a wide-legged forward bend. So you're going to bring your feet out about four feet apart and your feet are going to be parallel to each other. And then you can put your hands on your hips, lift your heart up, and then you just dive forward from the hips. Chin should be hitting the ground last or hitting the pool. I always think of diving into a pool. And then once you're down in wide forward bends, you just kind of want to work the crown of your head onto the ground. And then your hands with a wide base are going to come out about maybe six inches from your head. And then your hands are going to be about a foot apart. So you've kind of got like a tripod position. And then once you get your head on the ground, if you need to wiggle your feet out or rearrange your feet somehow, that's just fine. And then once you've got your head and your hands on the ground, you can kind of work on going up on your tiptoes, maybe moving your feet around, maybe picking one of them up. Once you have one of them up, you can try and follow with the other one. You always want, kind of want to work with your core here. If you have a lot of core strength, you might even just try coming up from wide um, forward bend, just using your core only. So just engaging your core. You're really not moving anything else of your body. I would recommend starting um, by a wall or having somebody to spot you just so you can build that sense of confidence and have a sense of security while you're learning. Um, and then after you have done that a few times and you feel confident and, and comfortable in the pose, then you can try it out in the open in your regular practice. And so that was headstand and that was the pose of the week.